Yo, yo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montoya. If you're new here, you're welcome. Do subscribe. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is all about this front hall pixie wig. By the way, shout out to Wiggins Hair for sending me this beautiful hair and sponsoring today's video. If you would like to see how I customized, cut and style this hair and of course install this hair. If you want to know more about the hair, then keep watching. So the hair came in this bag and inside it I have the wig cap, lashes, thank you notes and this pamphlet that talks about the hair and the company and it also has this elastic band inside it. All right, so this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal pixie wig, 150 density. It is pre-plugged with baby hairs. It's six inches Swiss lace, and this hair is affordable. It is just $64. I like the fact that it has a lot of pattern space, as you guys saw when I was showing you the insides. It, it has combs in there that I mean for extra security, and this is how it looks in its natural state. The front is like you know six inches, and in the back stay like four inches. Moving on, I'm about to bleach the knot on this lace. I'm going to be using L'Oreal's bleach, this 40 volume developer, and I'm mixing both of them together. You want to get it into a paste, not too thick and not too runny, so that it doesn't seep into the lace. So yeah, I'm just putting them on top of the lace, and I'm going to let that sit for about 25 minutes, and I'm coming back to wash that out. As an alternative to bleaching the knot on your lace is applying makeup but i like it to look very natural so that's why i'm doing this i always do that on my wig look at that so to take out the oranginess i'm using this shimmer light shampoo purple shampoo and i'm going to let that sit for like another 25 30 minutes that is done i rinse it out and shampoo and condition there and you're done so now i'm just out combing it so that i can see what i'm about to work with and um i don't like the baby hairs that come with the wig so i just take that out to make the hairline more natural and match my own hairline and i wanted to say please ignore the water bottle and everything on the floor i have toddlers with me and um yeah please bear with me so moving on i wanted a side part so i went in and did like a c side part the padding space in this hair is unbelievable and that is one thing that i love about it so i took my hot comb and my wax stick and i'm just running that through the hair just to you know to straighten it and to know to be able to see what i'm about to work with when i'm done with that i start to cut lightly in a layered form with my razor comb so basically what i'm doing is i take a section of hair use my wax stick on top of that for any flyaways and then i grab my hot comb i straighten the hair just to make it flat to be able to see what i'm about to cut and then i grab my razor comb and i cut lightly i cut in a layered form like going backwards just so like the padded space will be able to frame my face more i don't know what i'm saying right now but yeah you get it that's what i'm doing so i would repeat that until i am done with the hair well, now that i'm done with that i'm just going back and forth you know just cutting some more but I'm being careful with it because I don't want it too short. But this side is actually going to be shorter than the other side of the part. So yeah, that's why I'm cutting and cutting. That's why I like to use this razor comb because you can just comb through it and then it's cutting, it's doing the cutting.
and then i go back in with the hard comb just you know see what i'm doing see where i'm hard like see the progress of what i've been working on if i need to cut more i grab my comb and then i just cut and yeah that pretty that pretty much is what i'm doing So now I'm going in with my wrap mousse to just wrap the hair and let it sit there until it is dry and I'm coming back to start to style it. So now I take my flat iron and I'm just going to add warm curls to the back of the hair. I don't want it to be too curly. So that's what I'm basically going to do for the back and for the sides. I want a more defined curl like that. Yeah. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this part and yeah, I'll see you guys at the install. okay guys so now we're ready to install this air first of all i wanted to say this air is so soft and silky it is super easy to work i mean i took it from a straight air to like you know all of this cause but yeah the hair is a 10 out of 10 so anyways i'm gonna let you guys watch me as i install it and also um i tinted the lace like the inside of the lace with my foundation basically did was i applied my foundation using a brush like this applied it and then i sprayed a ben wonder lace spray onto it and i let it dry and that's pretty much it for how i tinted the lace so i'm gonna turn so that you guys can at least see what i have done so far yeah i feel like this is much better for you guys to see so yeah the first thing that we're going to do is to cut out the lace my hair cuts so i'm gonna grab a small comb Have you guys zoomed in so that you guys can see what I'm doing? I basically just cut out my hair tabs, like the excess lace around my hair tab, so that you know I can do this, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side, like that, like not entirely. I'm just dividing, I'm cutting it in sections so that it's easy for me to, you know, like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so we're gonna lift the lace again like so I kind of want it here so I'm going to clean my edges like just one more time but I'm actually gonna clean that a few times <laughs> so now I take my Airbnb Wonder Lace adhesive spray I'm going to do this in three sections so I'm starting at the middle of my head I spray that onto my forehead I blow dry on warm 
setting for a couple of seconds and then I pull down the lace I blow dry that until it is dry enough for me to move to the next section so I'm going to do that for the entire install and come back to cut the lace So to further melt the lace into my skin, I'm spraying all over the hairline again and I'm just going to tie that down with an elastic band and let that sit on my forehead for a couple of minutes, say 10-15 minutes. Okay, she is melted. So I'm going to take a razor like that and start to cut out the lace you guys this lace literally took me by surprise at first i was concerned that it might not really match my skin i was already thinking of how to match it better but when i cut this lace and i saw that wow i am in shock definitely think that if it matches my skin it would definitely match yours just be sure to tint it with your like foundation that matches your skin better and you're good Has that lifting a little bit i'm going to spray a little bit more spray and just slip it down with the lace but first of all i don't know you guys do you guys think i need let me zoom out so you guys can see do you guys think i need baby hair for this style like maybe just like a sweep right here what do you guys think already i am in love with how this lead wow Okay, so if you're team baby here, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I did it. <laughs> I added some, just two of that. And I decided to leave the one by my hair longer because I feel like it fits the hairstyle more for now. So yeah, I'm just going to use my outcome to you know, flatten the hair, make it more flat. All right, so I'm gonna do my makeup and i'll be back to see you guys at the end of the video so guys i'm pretty much done with this install i'm just perfecting the curl so that it fits my face better and you guys this air is a 10 i totally recommend it it is super soft and easy to work with i mean you guys saw it from the beginning i actually think you can wear it the way it came it will just be more of like a bulb pixie kind of wig but i wanted a more shorter pixie hair which is why i did all of that cutting and i think this is a beginner friendly wig and on top of all of this it is super affordable so yeah definitely check it out if you're looking to buy a pixie cut wig i'm just going to continue and finish up this styling and i will catch you guys in my outro
guys that brings us to the end of today's video if you like today's video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up that would help my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel once again thank you so much to wiggins head for this beautiful unit i am in love with this at first i was a little bit concerned about the lid for you guys look at that 10 like 10 for me like i said in the video this air is super easy to work with the amount of padding space that you get in this air natural i mean if you guys didn't see this video and i told you that i cut my hair yeah i like how natural it looks and i will leave the link to this air down in the description bar you can get it on amazon as well and you guys let me know what you guys think of the overall look down in this comment how did i do like let me know let me know what you guys think in the comment if you have any questions as well concerning the hair please drop them down in the comment i'll be sure to reply to you if you haven't subscribed again please subscribe to my channel also follow me on my instagram at more underscore and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one